Did you know that you can fly in Joyville? This monster's name is Wooly Bully. The orange worm Blenny is following us throughout the entire game, and there are some weird people watching us. This has been Back to World, and today I'm gonna break down all the secrets that I managed to find in Joyville. Let's go! The yellow fury monster Wooly Bully can be found in the most of Joyville's postures. Here are all the types of postures. He also appears on the door and on the main hall. But did you know that we can see him almost face to face in the beginning of the game? But we barely notice it. On the surveillance cameras there is a room where he sits face down the corner, but the tapes are either frozen up or it's just a bug. Because if you jerk the handle of this door and go back to check the cameras, it never opens. And the lights don't flash either and it seems like the cameras are frozen. Maybe that was a very old tape and now the cameras don't record anything at all. There are also no signs of an attack on the guy, although the camera that belongs to him is still lying on the floor. However, you can almost safely watch Wooly Bully if you hide in this small tunnel when you first meet him. What's curious is that there will be a dead end and you'll have to die and replay it again while hiding in the pipe. By the way, in this scene, if you get to the bully as close as possible and even step on his hand, nothing's gonna happen, he'll simply disappear, that's how the script works. But you can immediately notice another thing. Wooly Bully's hand color is beige in reality when it's black in the picture. The Fury monster is not as innocent as it seems and being aware of our presence, he keeps on following us. In Joyville Camp there are doors closing once in a while, lights keep going out and these huge pipes all along the way. We can't get inside them, but they're just perfect for Bully. It seems like these pipes were made for him. And these smaller pipes are apparently used by the Worm Gang. And the entire Joy Wool is literally filled with pipes. By the way, we can see the feedback from the visitors in Joyville's main hall. I love Joyville. This is my favorite place, Ethan. Ethan was happy, thank you. There are two points here. It's quite intriguing that the dead employee's name was also Ethan, whether it's some kind of malicious joke or just a coincidence. It was cool, Tom. Basically, these notes are from different people and they're kind of positive. Look at this picture of Bully Bully and the kids playing. Was the bully truly peaceful or maybe it was just an animator wearing a costume? This drawing is quite weird because from Ethan Jenkins' recording, we learned that this is the first time he's ever seen Wooly Bully in person. His appearance, it, it, it defied all natural laws. Eyes, eyes in its mouth. Maybe it's a fake. In this ironic phrase, I'll catch everyone. In this creepy faded man, actually it's drawn in a way that makes it look like he was hanged. You know, just that a rope and there you go. Not only this board. Some of the scenery like these postures are confusing. For example, this one, where Bully is burning a toy for some reason. And not just any toy, but this particular teddy bear with a microchip. The buster says, don't forget your toys. <laughs> That's kind of sad. You forgot the toy and someone burned it. That's a strong motivation to never forget your toys. And this posture depicts the claw marks of a monster called Bouncy Dino. This worm gang isn't named in the posture, but we find drawings with their names later. And look at this cat monster with a similar face shape to Wooly Bully. She doesn't even have the name. And I found her model on Wiki. Supposedly there is indeed such a prototype. Well, she's quite creepy, would you say? And how about the fact that there's another unnamed monster in the game, which doesn't appear in the postures, but have a look at this mark on the metal door that we see at the beginning. Was that him by any chance? There are too many claws, more than Bouncy Dino has. Who left that? Could it be him? This monster is a Joyville's mystery because we never see him in the postures, but we see him in two places. Firstly, in the end of the tape, playing in the main hall. And remember these eyes and stripe, because the second spot is the node in the floor at the end of the chapter. You probably didn't notice it when you were passing through, and you don't have much time to read it. Evil, evil, evil. And those writings are all over Joyful. Of course, it's hard to say how many claws this monster has, but since he shows up in the introduction video so suddenly, he must be the main antagonist of the entire game. By the way, we're getting a clue to his location. Maybe it's for the best that we didn't get there. But what you definitely missed is that there are some people watching us right now. Yeah, I'm not kidding, look at this. It's like a separate surveillance room with computers. Like they control the lights and attractions. But who are those people? Are they even alive? They're standing motionless. For some reason, a lot of people miss this detail and it could mean something. That we are not alone. And this is not the only place with the mysterious observers. There is another one. In the location with the charger, if you raise your head upwards, and there is a slightly different glazed room with the only person, and again computers. 
What's that supposed to mean? Are these people behind this? Or am I imagining things? After all, we fell from a great height. Right in front of these rotten planks, we could see that the door we were approaching had a sad face. Just a little hint that something's about to happen. I wish there was some kind of hint that this worm called Plenty was alive and waiting for us to play the game and make a mistake. As you can see, Plenty doesn't forgive the third mistake. And these guys are his friends. But Plenty follows us for the rest of the game. And the most attentive could see him waiting for us in front of the elevator and then hiding. What a jerk, and how can we get rid of him? Joyful just shines with details. The developers have thought out every corner of this place. It's not empty. They have even put up the rules of safe behavior in a the hole. There's nothing creepy about them. But what's really creepy is the mucus that the worms produce. And judging by the different colors, each worm has a unique color. What these wastes are all about? Do the seemingly metal creatures have some kind of physiological processes going on? A surprising thing you didn't know about Joyville is the fly. Unfortunately, you can fly for a short time and not everywhere. But if you want to experiment, then you need to bring one or two boxes to this elevator. Do not forget that the door in front of it closes as soon as you pass it, so you need to prepare the boxes from here. And when you get out of the elevator, hold the box. Somehow the boxes remember the direction and fly to the top. Well, it's a bug, obviously. But then, unfortunately, they're gone. But there's a more long-lasting attraction. You need to stand on the box while standing on the floor and slightly deviate in the direction where you need to move. Don't let go of the box. This way, Wooly Bully never gonna catch up with you because it's no longer a box, but a gyro scooter or even a hoverboard. And quite weird and a bit mysterious detail. After the first contact with the Fury Monster, this merry-go-round in the hole stops. Maybe those people upstairs did that. The teddy bear that we're using has the ultimate destiny. It's top secret and the dead worker Ethan Jenkins hints on it in the videotape that we found in the locker room. We have already used it for some kind of mechanism, so maybe we will need the bear in the crucial moment of the entire story. That was everything you didn't know about Joyville. Or not everything. This is Bombactus World, here I tell the original story of the Garden of Ban-Ban, so see you there.